You remember the wise guys we used to see when we was kids? Yeah, why? The guy we're meeting here is one of them. I think he's got something big for us. Well, afternoon to you. How can I help you? You want a new plate? You got it. Thanks a lot. World War II and Empire Bay. You can make a difference. Who doesn't love their automobile? Everyone does, of course. But do you love it more than your son, your brother, or your nephew who's serving overseas? The answer is a resounding no. So before you get into your car and use that precious gasoline, think about your loved one who's fighting in Europe or the Pacific. Even if your car gets a whopping 20 miles to the gallon, consider taking a bus or train instead. You can also walk or use a bicycle to get where you're going. The gas you save just might be the gas that saves a life in the war. Remember, you can make a difference. Hey, how you doing? You want something to drink? Here you go. Hey! Where the hell you been? I came right over as soon as you called. What's going on? You remember the wise guys we used to see when we was kids? Yeah, why? The guy we're meeting here is one of them. His name's Henry Tomasino. I think he's got something big for us. Yeah, no shit? Yeah. We're done with the small-time jobs. It's time to make some real shuttle. Here, he's coming. Don't say nothing stupid. Hey, Henry, how are you? Hi, you, Joe. This the guy? Yeah, this is Vito, an old friend of mine. Good to meet you, Henry. You vouch for him? Absolutely, Henry. Trust him with my life. Okay, listen. I got a job for you. The money's good. I need gas stamps. They're worth the fortune now because of the gas shortage. Where can we get them? In the Office of Price Administration. Uh, that's a federal government agency. Isn't that a little risky? What? Too much for you? No, no, no. Just trying to think of how we can pull it off. Ah, it can't be that hard. The stamps are kept in the safe at night, but the keys are probably around here somewhere. You got somebody inside? Yeah, one of our guys. His sister works there. Can she help us out? Ask her yourself. Her name's Maria Agnello. Here's the address. Tell her I sent you. All right, what about the safe? What if the keys aren't there? That's your problem. But what's the job pay? I'll give you 600 bucks for 10,000 gallons worth of stamps. Okay, we're in. No, no, I need Vito to do this alone. I got another job for you, Joe. So? What do you say, Vito? Yeah, sure. Hey, and don't forget to take a piece with you. You never know what's gonna happen. Better to be safe than sorry. I got beef. Wait, wait, wait. This isn't some liquor store stick-up. I want this to be a clean job. If you kill anybody, you cut drops to a third. Gabish? Yeah, I got it. No problem. Okay, when you're done, you come back here and we'll settle up. All right, I'll see Good you. Good luck, Vito.
Yeah, can I help you? Yeah, hello, ma'am. Uh, Henry Tomasino sent me. He said you might be able to help me with a little problem down at the Office of Rice Administration. Yeah, I heard about that. What do you need from me? Uh, I need to get in there tonight. All right, tell you what. My sister's in the hospital right now. If you give me a lift over there, I'll tell you everything you need to know. It's right across the street from the OPA, so it ain't like you're gonna be going out of your way. Sure, no problem. Okay, let's go. And take it easy behind the wheel, all right? I seen the way you kids drive these days. All right, kid. The place is locked up pretty tight at night, so you gotta get in through the back. They keep the back door open at night? No, but the basement window usually is, so that's how you can get in. You're looking for the safe, right? Yeah, how'd you know? Lucky guess. It's on the top floor. So's the director's office. That's where the keys are. Okay. So I go in through a window around the back, then head upstairs to the director's office, right? Right. And be careful. There's guards in there at night. Don't let them see you. Press Radio News. I'm Lowell Harris. January 17th, Warsaw, Poland. Polish flags fly high in celebration as the Polish people have now been liberated from the tyrannical grip of the invading Nazi forces. Soviet troops marched into the capital city and battled fierce resistance to expel the Germans from Polish soil, delivering yet another crushing blow to the already crumbling German forces. There are reports of heavy casualties on both sides of the conflict. For Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. All right, kid. Drop me at the hospital right here. The office is across the street. Okay, thanks for the ride, kid. Thanks, Maria. I'll see you. Watch where you're going. Ah, oh, raspberries. 
I'm gonna go make the rounds. Good riddance. Any plans for the weekend? Yeah, gonna relax and watch me some television. But well, you bought a television? I sure did. Man, those things cost as much as a car. How the hell did you afford it? Mary's Uncle Lou passed away a few months back, left us some cash. And you bought yourself a television with it. Okay, this is the director's office. This is where the key should be. Here's the key. Now I gotta get to the safe. That's what I did. You ought to see this thing. Seven inch black and white screen gets all three channels. Wow, sounds fascinating. What, you mean you ain't gonna get one? I'll stick with my newspaper and with my radio, thank you very much. This television's just a fad. We'll see about that, sonny boy. Yeah, so what does Mary think of it? She, uh... She ain't seen it yet. This is getting better by the minute. Oh, she's been visiting a mother upstate. Oh, yeah, I see. And, uh, what have you been watching on that fancy television set of yours? Mostly cartoons. They ain't got much on right now, on account of the war. Cartoons? All that money to watch some cartoons. Oh, man. Salesmen said when the war's over, they're supposed to start showing ball games on it, too. Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. But listen. I was watching them cartoons, and it gave me an idea. Oh, here we go. Okay, Einstein, let's hear it. Now listen to this. What if you could control the cartoon? What do you mean? You know, control it. You could make the little guy on the screen do things. You could make him run around, drive a car, maybe even uh, have him shoot a gun, shoot things with it. Have you been sniffing glue? How the hell are they gonna do that? Listen, I ain't worked that out yet. Look, you probably have to have some sort of box with buttons on it that controls the guy on the screen. I mean, one button would make him walk, the other would make him shoot, one would maybe make him... Oh, uh, yeah, that's your brilliant idea, huh? That sounds interesting, but it ain't never gonna happen. Oh, yeah? I'm sure someone will figure it out someday, and you can mark my words on that. Uh-huh. Sure they will. Right after they put a guy on the moon. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, all right. I'm gonna get back to my crossword puzzle here. Yeah, all right. Don't hurt yourself with that number two pencil.
Mom, how'd you make out? Piece of cake. They're in for a shock in the morning. That's good. I see Joe knows how to pick his friends. Uh, let's see what we got here. Ah, shit. Something wrong? You bet your ass there's something wrong. These stamps you took have an expiration date. And that date is tomorrow. So, uh, what exactly does that mean? It means they're gonna be fucking worthless. But wait. If you can get them to the gas station attendance by midnight, they'll be able to stamp them and redeem them. You better bring them to every gas station in town. They gotta get there by midnight or we're screwed. If you don't sell them in time, you get nothing. Wait a minute, that wasn't our deal. You didn't say anything about any expiration dates. Well, shit happens, doesn't it? Look, you pull this off, I won't forget it, trust me. Now get going. The faster you unload them, the more money you get. Hey, uh, interested in buying some gas stamps? Sure. Just keep this between you and me, all right? No problem. Just make sure you do the same. Sure. Sounds good to me. Press Radio News. I'm Lowell Harris. In an update to an earlier story we brought you here at Press Radio News, the massive bombing by U.S. and British Air Forces of the German city of Dresden continues to take its toll. The fires lit by thousands of bombs continue to burn with seemingly no end in sight as this major Nazi transportation and communication center is reduced to rubble. The entire city is reportedly in flames and civilian casualties are expected to be high. For Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. Listen, I got these extra gas stamps. You want them? They're yours. Cheap. Yeah, all right. I'm good with that. All right, here you go. And keep your mouth shut about this, all right? Sure thing, buddy. It'll be our secret. It better be. Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. Allied forces flexed their muscle on January 16th as they pushed back the Ardennes offensive, which was launched by Nazi troops in December. New reports indicate that the German armor has been left in pieces as the Allies continue their march toward Berlin, and victory gets even closer to fruition. For Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. All across the globe, world events are happening at record pace. From the war overseas to the yard sale next door, nobody delivers the news faster than the Empire Times. Our top drawer reporters work at breakneck speeds to get you the late-breaking news as early as possible. So get your Times hot off the presses first thing in the morning. For the latest in Empire Bay and the world, nothing is faster or more reliable than the Empire Times. The Empire Times, the news you need to know. Press Radio News. I'm Lowell Harris. Manila in the Philippines. United States troops fighting alongside local guerrilla forces have begun taking back the Pacific nation's capital from its Japanese captors. U.S. forces have completely encircled the sprawling city and are now facing a Japanese occupation force estimated to be 20,000 strong. 
Early reports have already indicated that this could be one of the bloodiest battles yet seen in the Pacific. More on this story as the information comes in, and hopefully the Japanese are pushed out of Manila. For Press Radio News, I'm Lowell hey, Harris. Uh, you in the market for some surplus gas stamps? Sure. Where'd you get them? Uh, and second thought, I don't even want to know. Smart man. All right, now fork over the dough. Yeah, all right. Just hope I don't get in trouble for this. Don't worry about it. Just keep your mouth shut. Hey, uh, I got some extra gas stamps. You interested? Yeah, yeah, sure, I'm interested. All right, here you go. Fork over the dough. Sure, sure. Here's your money. Thanks, pal. Now forget you saw me. Radio News. I'm Lowell Harris. Ladies and gentlemen, not in all my 15 years of doing the news have I ever had to report on such a horrific story, nor have I been privy to just the extent of some men's evil. But it is my duty to tell you that, upon liberating a Nazi prison camp in Auschwitz, Poland, Russian soldiers discovered mass graves as far as the eye can see. It is estimated that these graves contain the remains of thousands upon thousands of the Third Reich's prisoners. Prisoners who likely succumbed to the same malnourishment and mistreatment that was endured by the survivors. More on this tragic revelation as it unfolds. For Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. Hey, uh, I got some extra gas stamps. You interested? Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm interested. All right, here you go. Fork over the dough. Sure, sure. Here's your money. Thanks, pal. Now forget you saw me.
Hey, uh, interested in buying some gas stamps? Sure. Just keep this between you and me, all right? No problem. Just make sure you do the same. Sure. Sounds good to me. All right, that's the last of them. At least I got some cash. I should head back to Joe's.